I'm Dawn Dima Donza, the founder and creator of Dance Mess TV and I've just finished training up a girl to become a qualified dance teacher and I just want to share with you, you know, we were talking about a few things, I just wanted to share with you about having the right attitude, okay, and how important it is to, you know, really develop yourself in your dance career, whether you want to be a teacher, a performer or whatever it is, you know, you need to have the right attitude. So, you know, how proactive are you? You know, how motivated are you? Are you an opportunist? Okay, these are things that you really need to be thinking about. I mean, say for example, you know, you're looking for, um, to, to become a performer. How proactive are you in searching for jobs? How proactive are you in creating your own jobs? Okay, because quite often you have to think beyond what jobs are available for you out there. Okay, especially if you know the dance style you teach you teach is very specialised and there may not be a lot of dance jobs for you out there. So you have to create your own, okay? So say for instance for instance in teaching dance, you know, you set up your own dance school, that is creating your own job, okay? But then we also have to remember with teaching dance there's a lot of downfalls, okay? Teaching dance is very it's become a very, very competitive market. We've danced now in the media spotlight, you know, you've got these big TV programs and these talent contests now. You know, there's more and more dance, dance teachers opening up dance schools in your area. And with dance being, you know, one of those industries where there's new and more and more new styles coming out all the time, you have to also be flexible and think, okay, well, I have to give my students what they want. So does that mean you know you have to then go on and learn other dance styles so that you're able to then offer it to your students or does it mean that you know you have to be proactively seeking another dance teacher who can you know perhaps come and work for you and you know you employ them to teach this particular dance style which your students are seeking okay so I just want to share with you you know that having this attitude and being proactive at all times is crucial to your success in your dance career. And also to be flexible, you need to have that flexibility. You need to be open, you need to be aware of what's happening around you, okay? You need to have that flexibility. Say, for example, you know, you go for a dance audition and these auditions are getting tougher and tougher every day, okay? You have to, you know, really think about, you know, learning other dance styles. You need to know other dance styles before you even go to the audition because you need to be able to adapt to, you know, anything which could be thrown at you at the audition. And then, once you even get the job, you have to be flexible again because this will require more than likely really long rehearsals. It will require you to work outside social hours. How much are, are you prepared to suffer for your passion of dance? That is the question you really do have to ask yourself. So this is the real deal when it comes to, you know, it, when it comes to, when it comes to um, having a career in dance. And I just wanted to highlight, highlight that for you, okay? I, don't, I want you to be realistic. Be realistic with your dance career. Is teaching dance, for example, going to give you enough money to financially survive living at today's costs? Okay? Is performing in dance going to give you that regular income which you need to live? Yeah? Is that what you really want to do? You know, you may see jobs all the time, you know, where cruise ships are looking for dancers. Is that what you really want to do? If it is, go for it. Yeah? I'm not, I'm not saying not to or anything like that. I'm just trying to be realistic with the actual dance industry and what is there for you. And I really do highly recommend you creating your own jobs. Because, I mean, and just to be an opportunist. You need to be an opportunist because for me, for example, okay, I used to work for a radio station, Kiss FM, which is in London when Lisa Eatson and Trevor Nelson was there. And, you know, they used to organise radio shows, okay? So out, out in big, massive parks, you know, they'd have these big, grand events. And, um, you know, I met a lot of 
the music acts which were performing at these radio shows. And I realised that, you know, hardly any of them had any backing dancers. So I said to Kiss FM, I said, you know what, I'm really into dance. You know, I would love to be part of, you know, the show and choreograph some backing dancers for the show. I think it will make the show wow. Yeah, give it the wow factor. And they loved the idea and they said, yeah, sure, go ahead, why not? So I created my own job. Okay, and then from doing that, you know, I got exposed. I got some serious exposure, and, um, and then another radio station approached me, Choice FM, and asked me to do the same for their radio events, and, and it grew from there. So I just want to, you know, share with you that how important it is to create your own jobs and create your own career path. I mean, me, for example, you know, I started teaching dance, set up my own dance school. Dance school turned into a dance business where we train other dancers to become dance teachers, okay? Went into lecturing and then got a license to become a judge and travel around the country judging dance competitions. And I just want to stress the importance it is that if you want a career in the dance industry to have multiple income streams. One job one dance job is not going to give you full-time income which you need to live on okay you need multiple income streams and you need to be an opportunist you need to see opportunity and when you see it grab it grab it with both arms okay or create it create that opportunity for you so i just want to you know share this with you and um just to say have the right attitude, when you, as, the soon, as soon as you have the right attitude and you're proactive, okay, I mean for instance, look at networking and contacts, okay, how crucial this is, I mean how proactive are you at contacting everyone you're networking with, are you actually networking, are you establishing your network, see this is where, you know, being opportunist, opportunist matters because you also have to have enterprise skills, okay so you have to think well okay if you know if i can help this person out then they can help me out in this way what's the deal you know how can how can we work together it's all about working together that's how you're going to build that's how any company really does build up big status or gets big big exposure is through networking and working together and doing joint ventures okay so even if, say, for example, you know, you're looking to be in a dance group or a dance troupe, be the leader, create that, okay? You start your own dance group. Get other people to perform in your dance group. You can do that, okay? I mean, say, if, say for instance, you know, you wanted to do workshops um, and go on tour around the world doing workshops. You can do that. You start networking with the right people, okay, and everyone's on the same mindset and everyone's got the same attitude, then you can arrange that and organise that, yeah? So you might, you know, if you really want to go further in, in teaching dance, doing workshops around the world, then what I would suggest you do is just start contacting other dancers, maybe who live around the world over the internet. And say, you know what, yeah, let, let's get the skills, let's get the workshop together and we could do a tour. You can arrange what happens in, you know, your country. I'll arrange what happens in my country, okay? And then you can actually get this together, right, get together, market it, and then, you know, you've got a world tour. Anything is possible. You put your mind to it, okay? And anything is possible, all right? You just have to have the right attitude, the right mindset, and the motivation to get up and go and take action, so I just wanted to share that with you today and, um, you know, to let you know that, you know, when you're in the dance industry, you really have to think about doing multiple jobs, okay, and jobs which you enjoy doing. That's the most crucial thing of it of all, okay? And um, I'm just really happy to share this with you, so please leave a comment below and let me know, you know, what stage you are at in your dance career. What are you proactively seeking to do? Because, you know, I'd really love to read them. And if anything, you know, if I can help you in any way, then I would be happy to, you know, perhaps guide you or give you advice or even just, just, just to read your comment would be great for me. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe because I've got so much more to share with you.